Rev up your engines! Today, I'm talking about Chinese car parts. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm gonna start by telling you the Chinese parts that you should definitely avoid buying for your car. And numero uno, do not buy Chinese parts that are unbranded, that don't even have a name on them. I've had customers buy parts for the cars online, they bring them to me, and I look at it, and I say, there's not even a name on the part. It might come in a box that says made from China, because here in the United States, they have to tell you country of origin of the parts, but there was no name on the actual part. All real manufacturers put their names on the parts, so you know who made it. When the box says, made in China, and there's no name on the part, I would definitely stay away. I've got a customer who actually does business in China. He runs a factory there. And he said, there's some really horrible factories in China, and there's some really good ones too. You wanna stay away from the horrible ones, and often, they wouldn't even put their name on the product. Now my second warning when it comes to Chinese parts is, stay away from high-tech electronic parts on your car if they're made in China like this airflow meter. The airflow meter is a very crucial part to your car. It tells you how much air goes in the engine so the computer can put the right amount of fuel. These things are highly accurate instruments. You buy some cheap knockoff, it's not gonna work right. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for saving money when you get your car fixed, but if the part doesn't work, you're not saving any money. And the worst thing of all possible bad things that can happen is that you actually have figured out what's wrong with your car. Then you go buy one of these cheap parts, put it on, it doesn't fix it, and you think, I must have been wrong, it wasn't that. But in reality, it was that. But the cheap part you got was no good. You put the part on, but the part was bad. And it can create a true rat's nest of repair when you get bad parts. There are also bad counterfeit parts that come from China. They're made to look like the original equipment one, but they're counterfeit. In 2013 here in the United States, they had cases that went to court and won, counterfeit airbags that came from China, and realized that you don't wanna put your safety at risk. Here's an example, there's some Chinese brake pads. Now, they get certified by the Department of Transportation. Now, I've seen Chinese brake pads that came in a box that said they were certified eco-friendly, meaning they didn't have asbestos and stuff. They did not have the DOT, the Department of Transportation seal, showing that they are safe for stopping your car. Weren't certified by the Department of Transportation as being good for stopping your car? What do you care if it's friendly to the environment if you get killed because the brakes don't work right actually stopping the car? Now, ironically enough, a lot of manufacturers days make their original equipment brake pads in China, but they're certified. Like I said, there are some good companies in China, but you want to stay away from the unbranded, cheap ones that haven't been tested, and sometimes they're just flat out counterfeits. Just like those fake Gucci bags. I actually had a customer that bought a fake Gucci bag. She knew it was fake, and her friend had a real one, and they put them side to side, and really, they look pretty much the same, but then again, you're not riding around in a Gucci bag and it isn't stopping you and saving your life. And my last big warning is generally just stay away from Chinese made tires. Over the years, I've had customer buy Chinese made tires. I even inadvertently bought some on my wife's car and they kept going flat because they were so soft. Nails went through them even though they were steel belted radials. There have been various suits against various Chinese tire making companies. It just seems that the quality control isn't there for their tires. I mean, the biggest thing for safety on your car is the tires. You're driving the tires. You don't want them to slip. When you slam on the brakes, you want them to grab the road, not slide all over the place. It's very important to have good tires. And in that respect, personally, I just say stay away from Chinese tires, period. I wouldn't buy any of them. There are so many valid tire companies out there in the world. Why take a chance with ones made in China that have a history of bad track records, fast separation of tires, they wear out too fast, they get flats more often. But now, I'll talk about the good of Chinese parts. They have factories that make some very good products at a very low price. We'll start right here in my garage. Here's my Daytona Jack. 
It's made in China. It works perfectly fine. Here's my 20 ton press underneath all the junk here. It's made in China and it works fantastic. Yesterday I put a radiator in a customer's car. It was made in China. Heck, they're plastic tops, plastic bottoms, and aluminum in the middle. They cost tons less. Sometimes a factory one is $600 and the Chinese one is $89. They're just plastic and aluminum and they're made by machines just crimped in. None of that stuff's done with hand work anymore. When I was young they used to hand solder things. Now it's all done by machines. So they make excellent radiators. So there's decent Chinese parts out there. But as I said, you want one that has an actual name on it. When you buy this stuff, you're best to buy it locally. There's an auto zone over there three blocks away. I buy a lot of stuff from them. And a lot of it's made in China. But they pick which people to use. They gotta figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad. And they give a really good local guarantee. Buy it online from who knows where or what company made it. That's pot luck. Now, I've never had to exchange any of the CV shafts made in China that I bought at AutoZone. They all work perfectly fine. If I ever got a radiator that didn't fit right, or if it started to leak early, they stand behind it locally, give you another one. No questions asked. You're not gonna get that if you buy the stuff online. Plus, let's face it, your radiator's out. Your car's overheating. Your drive shaft's broken, you can't drive it. If they send you the wrong one, the one that breaks, then your car's gonna be up for a long time while you're waiting for the parts to go back and forth. It's always better to buy local because the local guys, hey, they want feedback too. If they find out that a certain brand of Chinese made stuff isn't working out, they put it on their computer, they get enough complaints, out goes that company and they'll find another one. These companies have to do a lot of research. It's a competitive world. And if they're selling nothing but junk to people, guess what? They'll go out of business. They have to keep their finger on the pulse of who's making good parts, who's making bad parts. And yes, it does change all the time. When I was a young mechanic, nobody wanted Chinese parts. Everybody in the business knew that they were junk. But today, hey, there's some very good factories out there that make stuff. You just got to make sure that you get it from the correct one so you don't get one of these counterfeits or just a cheaply manufactured part. Cause let's face it, everybody wants to save money when they're having their car fixed, but you're not gonna save money if you get an inferior part or one that doesn't even work and then you're confused that, gee, I thought it was that, but the new part didn't work. Now you know the good, the bad, and the ugly about Chinese parts so you can make a wiser decision yourself. So if you never wanna miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell!